Welcome to the Pharmacist Voice Podcast. I'm your host, Kim Newlove. Thank you for joining me for episode 90. Today is April 1st, 2021. It's a kind of special day in the U.S. It's April Fool's Day. What does that mean? Today, people play pranks on one another, usually to make them laugh. You have to be on your guard a little bit. If you're not paying attention, the joke's on you. For example, one year, my friend Jake told me he was done riding quads and switched to dirt scooters. That's his pet name for dirt bikes. I totally fell for it and asked what kind of bike he bought. Turns out, yours truly did not look at the calendar, and he said, April Fools. Yeah, he got me. (laughs) For my overseas listeners who may not have heard of April Fool's Day, when you reveal your prank, you're supposed to say, April Fools. Have you ever been pranked on April Fool's Day? For example, has anyone ever switched your sugar for salt? Imagine you're a coffee drinker. You're tired, and you're not paying attention. You go to take that first sip of much-needed coffee in the morning, and it doesn't taste right. There's salt in your coffee instead of sugar. Gross. April Fool's. Or has your spouse or partner ever saved a year's worth of boxes from Amazon and put them on your doorstep on April 1st? It looks like they spent a million dollars online. April Fool's. These are some classics, but you probably have your own story to tell. If you have a good pharmacy-related one, feel free to message me through my website, thepharmacistvoice.com. I have a contact form and a voicemail button. In the spirit of fun and entertainment, I'm breaking format today to reflect on some unpredictable things that have happened to me while recording podcast episodes. Anything can happen in podcasting, These are meant to bring you a smile or a groan, not to poke fun at anyone. I narrowed it down to a list of my top 10 unpredictable moments in podcasting. For anyone over the age of 40 who remembers David Letterman, I'm going to do this David Letterman style. I'm starting with number 10 and counting down to number one, which I think is the best one. For anyone younger than 40 who may not remember David Letterman, He used to read top 10 lists on his late-night talk show all the time. I put a link to David Letterman and all the podcast episodes mentioned in this episode in the show notes. Number 10. My connection with Mike Lenz was suddenly cut during our interview in episode 41. We were using Squadcast, which I consider very reliable. The disconnection was a surprise, but we reconnected and picked up where we left off. Thanks to editing software, you probably can't even tell what happened. Number nine. I may or may not have mispronounced Napod Pomo about 30 times during National Podcast Post Month, November 2020. I did a challenge called Napod Pomo to publish one podcast episode per day in the month of November. I heard it pronounced Napod Pomo but I've also heard it pronounced Napod Pomo. I guess that means I'm right either way, right? Anyways, I'm over it, moving on. Number eight. In episode 39, I interviewed Dr. April Jones. We had double trouble. For some reason, the video component of Squadcast wasn't cooperating, so we switched to Zoom. Zoom worked great, but April couldn't find the stand for her microphone, So she's stuck it in a cup, and it worked great. She's easy to work with and has a great sense of humor. Number seven. During my interview with Dave Jackson, he said something that his Alexa unit recognized. Dave calls Alexa the woman in the tube, by the way, which I think is really clever. Alexa started talking while we were recording. So we stopped and we just re-recorded that part of the interview, and it didn't happen again. By the way, Dave Jackson is my podcasting coach. He's awesome. He taught me how to plan and launch my podcast. If you want to learn how to plan, launch, or grow a podcast too, visit Dave's website, schoolofpodcasting.com. Number six, 
If you listen closely to episode 73 with Dr. Lauren Castle, you can hear her cats, Olive and Pickle, meowing occasionally during our interview. Number five, dogs make appearances on my podcast too. In episode 81, Jenny Barlos's dog, Pepper, jumped on Jenny so she could say hello to me. Jenny is the Client Services Director from the Ability Center Assistance Dogs Program in Sylvania, Ohio. Check out the episode artwork for that one, and you can see a picture of Pepper. Number four. The very first interview I ever recorded was with my Uncle Tom Titkemeyer. It's episode three. During our interview, which was in person because it was pre-COVID, his landline started ringing during the interview. We had to stop the interview so he could either answer it or the answering machine could pick up. I can't remember which one. Afterwards, we picked up where we left off and finished the interview. Number three. Have you ever heard a smoke detector chirp? You know, the low battery chirp? It's persistent and recognizable, which is why I recognize the sound of Dave Bitkowski's smoke detector chirping during our podcast interview for episode 17. We stopped the interview, he replaced the battery, and everything went smoothly after that. Number two. An Alabama lightning storm broke my connection with episode 13 guest, Bruce Berger. It happened not once, but twice. He's a great speaker and a very patient man. We reconnected quickly, and he was able to carry on without skipping a beat. Both times. And finally, number one. In episode 15, during my interview with Dr. Lisa Orbe Austin, a giant hawk landed on her air conditioner and surprised her. We stopped the interview for a minute to talk about the joys of wildlife in New York City. She recovered quickly and picked up where she left off like a true professional. Those are all great memories for me, and I hope you enjoyed them too. You never know what's going to happen in podcasting. Having fun in spite of challenges and rolling with the punches is important, and so is being a good editor. I'll put episode numbers and guest names in the show notes. You can find them at thepharmacistvoice.com. I hope you have a safe and fun April Fool's Day. Thanks for listening to episode 90 of the Pharmacist Voice podcast.